what is a one class support vector machine let us see in the traditional classification setting we are given some positive examples and some negative examples and our goal is to find a separator or some kind of a decision boundary that separates the positive examples from the negative examples but suppose we look at some problems such as outlier detection or anomaly detection we do not have a lot of negative examples we do not have a lot of examples of the anomalous points or the outliers we just have a data set and know that a few points are the outliers and we want to detect them the one class svm can be helpful in this circumstance so suppose we have a set of points and a few outliers our goal really instead of finding a separator between the outliers and the regular set of points is really to find some kind of an enclosing boundary around these set of regular points as close to these points as possible such that anything outside this boundary can be called an outlier can we leverage support vector machines in this unsupervised setting where we are not specifically given any examples labeled as negative for the task of outlier detection or anomaly detection sometimes it's also called novelty detection because we are not given negative examples let's see let us recall a regular svm a regular svm enables us to find the max margin hyperplane or the max margin line let us say so in this case if you have some uh, positive and negative examples we are trying to find that line for which the perpendicular distance of the closest point to the line from either side is maximized that's the max margin property when we come to the case of one class svm we have a sort of unsupervised setting where we only have a set of points and there are no negative examples really so we want to find that hyperplane or that separating line which is separating these points from the origin so the origin is considered to be the second class when we work with the one class svm and the idea is any points that are actually outside uh, of this boundary line that we drew around the uh, the regular points for instance these lines are outside the boundary and these are all uh, categorized as the outliers so the objective function for the one class svm looks like this let's not dig uh, deep into the objective function but what is to uh, note is that the regular uh, parameter c that we have in the normal svm the regularization parameter uh, is replaced by the new here so the new is indicative of how much slackness we want to allow in some sense which means how many outliers we want to allow so for instance this line could have been uh, here if i drew the line here i'm not allowing any outliers at all but if i drew the line here then i'm allowing some outliers and this line is closer to the densely packed region of points so the parameter new is something that controls how many outliers we want to allow rather it is an upper bound on the fraction of outliers we want to allow now it is common to use an rbf kernel in a one class support vector machine that's because usually we do not want to find a linear hyperplane that separates these points from the origin but it is nicer to find a boundary around these points which could be non linear that actually uh allows us to say anything outside the boundary is an outlier so for instance if i have a close uh, a boundary that is very close to these uh this area with high point density i would have these two as outliers while uh i can actually have another boundary that is allowing fewer outliers then i would only have one outlier here so once again 
the parameter new controls how many outliers we allow. So if we have a higher value of new, we end up with a tighter boundary where we allow more outliers, while if we have a lower value of new, we allow less slack, so we have we allow fewer outliers. This is a regularization parameter. Along with the other regularization parameter that we usually have with the RBF kernel, which is the radius itself, the gamma parameter. So to recapitulate, we looked at one class SVMs to solve a uh, anomaly detection problem or an outlier detection problem. Sometimes it's also called the novelty detection problem because we do not really have negative class examples and we are given only examples of one class from which we want to find points which are dissimilar. Note that one class SVM is implemented in the scikit-learn library, so you can go and check it out and scikit-learn has a lot of examples to use it. Thank you.